Got another Nakamishi. This one's a DR2. This one here, the belt is bad on it, so we're just going to jump right in and change the belt. I'm going to do this without taking the mechanism all apart because I don't feel like having a zillion screws out and spending an hour on it. It's going to be a quick and dirty replacement. This is how you change a belt on one of these without getting your hands dirty. Check it out. So we're going to jump right in. I've already got the top off it. Take out as few screws as possible and change this as quickly as possible. And a couple of screws on the bottom. Got to remove the four screws for the metal plate on the bottom. And then there's two more screws that have got like uh, plastic copper foil washers that have to come out. So once these two screws are out, the entire deck will lift right out. Let's remove those two. And then the entire deck will just lift out. You gotta watch the wires. Some of the wires are kind of short, but it will lift out without much effort. Remove this screw on the side here. It's got this ground wire on it. We'll remove the circuit board for the preamp so that I can get to the uh, bracket and loosen up the bracket and see if we can get a new belt in here without having to take this whole thing into a bunch of different pieces. I like to try to minimize what I need to take apart on this, at least to get the belt out to measure it. So we'll remove a couple screws here. All that banging in the background, that's the neighbor's kid hammering on a pipe. I think he thinks he's going to be the next Ringo Starr or something. And of course I'm being sarcastic because Ringo Starr was a mediocre drummer at and best. There's one or two more on the side here that have to come out. Or may have to come out. He was famous, but he wasn't very good. Okay, there's the old belt. I'm going to see if I can find one that's a little closer, a little tighter than this one maybe. Let's see if I got one that's close. Let me go see what I can find. And uh, we'll see whether I can get this one going. Otherwise, I'll have to measure this belt and order this one in. But it shouldn't be a problem getting one of these belts. So I got another belt here. This is very close, very, very close to this other one. It's not as uh, stretchy, but um, we'll try this one and see whether this one will uh, make this thing sing. So I'm just going to loop the belt over top without taking the mechanism apart any more than it is. It goes over both. This is a dual capstan, but it's not an auto reverse. So it goes around both pulleys in the same direction. So the belt loops around like this. And then around the motor and back. If it was a if it was an auto reverse it would go around one pulley one way and then go around the other pulley the other way. But this one here being a non-auto reverse, we just pull the belt around the bottom of the uh, bottom of the pulley, the second capstan shaft. I'm always for not taking mechanisms apart if I don't have to. Oops. If I can fish things through without taking out any extra screws that I don't have to, then I won't. Oops, it slipped back. I got it hung up here. Sorry, <laughs> I'll try that again. Yeah, 
I mean, this light here some, is kind of a double-edged sword because uh, there's times where it gets right in my face and glares in my eyes and makes it hard to see what I'm doing because it's so bright. The LEDs that are are, are, are so bright. There we go. Got the belt on this side. Get it over top of the of the uh, the pulley. where tape comes in handy you can tape it to the the uh, tape it to the flywheel and then turn the flywheel around to pull the belt around once you've got it all in place but in this case I can probably just work this around the flywheel so after fiddling around with this for a bit I got the belt around the two flywheels so I'm now going to put the, the screws back in to hold the mechanism in place and then we'll loop the belt over the motor and put the unit back together and check it out make sure everything's going the right speed and make sure there's no inconsistency in the speed there are different size screws for different things. <laughs> that was the one for the circuit board which was a larger a larger thread diameter. Now now the trick is catching the belt and pulling it over the uh, the motor pulley. That's going to be the next fun part. Without derailing it off of the the uh, capstan pulleys, the flywheels. Let's grab it here, and give it a tug with the motor, just like that. There we go. That should that should do it. And the motor is riding right in the middle of the pulley. As you can see, it's riding right in the middle of the motor itself. Let's uh, try this out. Okay, mechanism's back in. I've got a tape loaded in here, 440 hertz tone. <laughs> Pretty darn close. Right on the money. There you go. Stable too. Close enough, close enough. It's not changing this don't hear much in the way of wow and flutter so I think we'll let this one play for a while and uh, make sure that there's no other issues but uh, now it's got the, the correct belt on the, the uh, unit everything seems to be nice and stable now another successful fix okay that's another one all done now you know how to change the belt on one of these DR2s without pulling the whole mechanism apart. It's not that difficult. It's a lot easier to do it this way than to rip the whole mechanism apart. You just have to be patient. It is possible to thread the belt around using a, a dental pick. It only took me a couple minutes to do it. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.